When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do. But at what cost? Oh, you guys are crazy. What about electricity? What, what about parking? What about permits? What about time? You have none of that. Look at this. Yes. This is going to be on the hem of your wedding dress. Yes. I will not let you wear this, OK? He wants to build everything for the wedding. $65 a table. Weddings are a day you'll never forget. Weddings are a beach with a sun that's set. Weddings are events that will leave you in debt. Meet newlyweds Diana and Mark. To this couple, the perfect wedding meant having a ceremony in Aruba and a DIY reception back home. Let's see if this DIY couple can make the best of both worlds without doubling their budget. My name is Diana. I'm a 26-year-old massage therapist. I met my fiance, Mark, a shop teacher, when we worked at a home renovations warehouse. He had a crush on me and finally got the courage to ask me out. When my mom saw him for the first time, she immediately knew he was the one. This is the story of how we either make it or break it for our DIY-inspired wedding. Our wedding day in Aruba was amazing. It was so relaxing and just no pressure at all, exactly time, how I wanted it to be. The time just flew by, like, it was a great day, both days. Both of them. The days may have passed by quickly, but paying for the bills may feel like eternity. Let's turn back the clock and watch as this couple plans two weddings with a budget that's only made for one. Initially, Diana first confronted me and told me, you know, maybe we should hire a wedding planner just for the day of here at a reception, because there's going to be a lot of work, a lot of things going on. Meet Angelique Sobchak. Angelique has 15 years of experience rolling up her sleeves and getting down to work. But how will Angelique react when this DIY couple asks her to be both travel planner and contractor? The power is out. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me the power is out. We need Tom. We need power. My role as a wedding planner is to take the vision of the bride and groom, make it a reality, and keep it close to their budget. So I'm really excited to hear, tell me the vision of your wedding. Well, we want to go down to Aruba and have it on the beach, very, very tropical, very just laid back and just relaxed and, and candles everywhere and flowers and just nice. Excellent. So, and you like that too? Well, that's her thing, right? <laughs> My thing is at home, yeah. right? We're going to do the whole Tuscan theme, the Italian way by having like nice long tables, everybody sitting down outside, yeah. right? The intention is to make it as much DIY as possible. Yeah. OK, when you say make it as much DIY, uh, I we mean. We want to do as much as we can. I want to make anything and everything that we can, because okay. we want to put a personal touch to this. We plan on making like long tables. We want to make a nice it's big Tuscan, dance floor yeah. for everybody to dance on, right? The bar, I'm going to make a nice outside, big bar. So it's not a bar, probably. Right? You want to make your dance floor? Yeah, and Diana's going to pick out what color she wants for the wood yeah. and everything else, and then I'm going to put it on. You realize a lot of the stuff you can buy. They have stores now. Yeah. You can buy it. Uh, we know. But well, you know like what, though? That's the whole fun part of the yeah. wedding, right? Really? So, so we're really? trying to make it like our type of wedding, right? We want yeah. to make sure that everybody comes there and says, oh, you know, Mark and Diana put this on. It's not Mark and, and Diana went out and bought everything yeah. to put it on. Have you made any of these items before? Not or have you items, made them no. now? <laughs> no, not yet. No. I mean, I love that you are enthusiastic and you want to do a lot of it yourself. But when I hear couples say DIY, red flags go off for me. We actually have this all under control. It's going to work we, out. We already perfect. have a plan of how we want things to go. So okay. just be prepared that if you have stumbling blocks, you can always call me in for backup. We wanted to do a lot of DIY for our wedding to save money, but more importantly, to put our own personal touch on things. Tell me, how many guests? Like, what are we planning for the Aruba destination wedding? 16, 17, 18 people. No Not more that. than 20. No more okay. than 20. So then back at home for the Tuscan reception, it's going to be about 250 people. Oh, wow, that's a big number to have yeah. when you're doing it all yourself. Do you have a venue in mind for that? It's we not... have a few ideas. So we're not there yet? <laughs> no. Not yet. <laughs> I'm hoping that bringing Angelique on will help us to kind of 
me and Mark have tons of ideas and we're kind of all over the place and she'll just kind of set us straight and just help us out with if things kind of get a little out of hand or, or if we can't finish things on time, at least she'll be there to, to kind of try to help us out. So your wedding dress, do you have one already picked out? Do you know what you're going to go get? No, I don't really want to go buy one. Um, I've already drawn out exactly what I want and I was kind of hoping to make it myself. I think really? it's a great idea. Are you a seamstress? No. She's sewn quite a few things in the past. It like a long amazing. time ago, right? So I thought I could try it and hopefully it'll work out. When was the last time you sewed something? <laughs> Probably in high school. Oh, wow. Again, you're worrying me. I understand you want to do a lot of things yourself and put your touch on it, which yeah. I really commend you for. But really, if you're not a seamstress, planning to make your own wedding dress may not be the place to do this. I'll see afterwards if it doesn't work out, but I really want to try it. All right, you have ideas. You're going to make it yourself. Yeah, and All the right. cake. <laughs> what? I want to make my own cake. I love making cakes. We she's do an I, awesome cake I decorator. The cakes that she's made like, is birthdays just... and how many layers do you want your cake to be? Four, maybe something. It's about like oh this. God, gosh. And where are you going to find the time to do all of this? Just before the wedding, when we're setting up the reception. <laughs> but what about in Aruba? I'll just get one of those packages down there. Oh, so really, the Aruba is for you. Yeah, that's our, Aruba's uh, that's be our, our vacation. Relaxing that's vacation. our relaxing. Yeah. And then the reception here is, is for, for your the guests. guests. Okay. It's for everybody else. Alrighty. Is there anything else that you want to maybe tell me? So I kind of saw this thing. I know we haven't discussed it, but I kind of saw this thing about these pirate ships. And I thought we could kind of incorporate that into the wedding. When did this pirate ship come up? Well, OK, I saw it online. And it's not really for weddings, but I thought we could kind of put it in there. I thought the Aruba thing was like, you know, one package, we just go down, and everything's done, like, right? Yeah, and that, that's great. But I just thought we could relax. We could enjoy ourselves for the week with our family. It's, no. I don't know what you're doing, but if you can come down there with us, and that way we can have her help us out with, with everything whoa, and kind of make sure everything whoa, whoa, whoa. goes right. What are you talking about? But I, okay, we want to relax, right? Yeah. We want to enjoy ourselves. We let her know what we want, and then she just kind of helps us out and... You know. I, I will admit that it is useful to the couple to have me there because exactly like you say, I assist, I help, I give you guidance, not to mention I do make those arrangements so that you yeah. can spend time with your family. But now do you come for free? Well, of course not. But we're going to like go yeah. way over our budget. Because we don't want to be stressed out. So for me to be 100% sure about your vision and what you can and cannot do and whether or not I can even go with you to Aruba, I need to know your budget. So can I get that? Yes. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? You sure you want me to go to Aruba? No. Yes. Coming up. You are thinking to buy this property yeah. to host your wedding on? Yeah. Yeah. What about electricity? What about washrooms? What about hydro? I knew Crystal was the one for me when uh, five days later she didn't uh, run away and say, ah. <laughs> When it comes to planning your wedding on the sea, beware of pirates taking over. I kind of saw this thing about these pirate ships, and I thought we could kind of incorporate that into the wedding. When did this pirate ship come up? Well, okay, I saw it online, and it's not really but, for weddings, but... But we're going to, like, go way over our budget. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple stays on budget or is forced to jump ship. We thought, you know what, let's go out. We'll go buy our piece of property where we're going to live on, right? In the end, we make it look nice. It's going to become ours. Yep. And that was just one little thing that we... I think we... he left that detail out when we were talking to Angelique. I think, yeah. yeah. You know what? Take a look. This is our place. What do you think? Your place. No, it's, our place. Place. it's for sale. We're going to purchase this for our, like, our actual house, but then we also want to have the yeah. wedding on it first. You are thinking to buy this property yeah. to host your wedding on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you guys are crazy. <laughs> then maybe they should be looking at a funny farm. Come on, give this a chance, OK? OK. Look at this. What we want to do is I'm going to get my relatives here, get some bobcats in here, level it all out, bring in a couple truckloads of stone, some sod, soil, and we're good. Yeah, it looks really good. good. Can I say something, really? You might be rushing this a little bit just to find the outdoor venue for your wedding. What about electricity? What about washrooms? What about hydro? What, what? about parking? What about permits? What about time? You have none of that. Don't rush buying just to have a venue for a wedding. We didn't think of a lot of that stuff. I can show you 
venues that are gonna one, fit your budget, that will already have all of this done. It already comes ready made. And this way, it's a little on budget. This is gonna cost you more. Okay, let's take a look at a couple places and then if anything, we'll just come back here. Sounds fair. All right. All right. So our venue idea didn't exactly pan out, but Angelique had a cherry farm she wanted to show us. You've got parking back here for cars. You also have this barn here. Look at this. This is perfect. These doors open and you've got a working kitchen in here. And you've got washrooms. Also, okay. look at this. This is the main house. You can use that as a backdrop for photo opportunity. I like all the vines all growing See? up. See? That's really nice. Plus, you get time to come in and set up because you know you want to do all these do-it-yourself things. Yeah. I think this is the way you need to go. It's a lot better than that other option. What about the price? $700 all in. Hold your horses. Did she say $700? $700. That's it? That's yes. it? Yes. Yes. That's good. All you have to do is rent the tent, rent your so tables and chairs. Just gets... Exactly. What do you think? Do you like it? I really like it. We're booking it. Yes. Before oh, we lose it, yes. let's go. I love it. Let's yeah. go talk to the owner. <laughs> when it came to my dress, I was determined to show them that I was not only going to design it, but I was gonna make it myself. And I made sure that my friend April and my mom were there, just in case anything happened. That's the drawing that's there. That's so pretty. Oh, that's and weird. then I picked up a bunch of fabric. I don't know if it's exactly what I need, but I'm gonna try this anyway. It's pretty though. So this is the lace. Have you ever sewed before? Well, I don't know, about six years ago. Well, why do you want to start again now? It's my wedding dress and I want to make it nice and I want to make it the way that I want it. That's why they invented a seamstress. Almost like a wrap. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna just attach that to there, and then... This underneath for... Uh, yeah, and then okay. just wrap it around the What back. about up top? I could get a white dress, a really pretty white dress, and then stick this on top. So it's not really sewing, it's layering. It's like the one dress that you're supposed to splurge on. What you looking for there? I don't know how to start it. You need a little pedal there at the bottom. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm going this way or am I going the other way? You're gonna go down this way though. See? See, we're doing good. Oh, 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 it's done. Honey, honey, it's done. Okay, okay, get your foot off the pedal. I'm not on the pedal. Something tells me this sewing job is going to keep us in stitches. Wait, this is your wedding dress? Yes, yes. Look at this. Yes. This is going to be on the hem of your wedding dress. Yes. You need something to wear. I just really, really wanted to make it myself. I will not let you wear this, okay? And as your mother, I will not let you wear that. <laughs> I have someone who can make exactly this. This is all you need to bring to her. So, do it yourself is now paid to get it done. Let's give this woman a call and let her take over from here. I just, oh, look how I know. Well, she can I include know. this fabric. Okay, sure if, she can. if we can give this to her and that, she can actually design. use it. Yes. And we haven't damaged enough of it. You can maybe put the last stitch in. The day of, you can wrap yourself in the ribbon and Perfect. That okay. would be your DIY component to your wedding dress. There you go. Okay. You settle on that. Okay. So, I thought about renting the dance floor, the bars, the tables, right, for a wedding reception. But you know what? Why rent it? You can make it. Come on around it and I'll show you some of the stuff in the bin. Just tell me a little bit about the project again. He's crazy. How about that? That's, that's the program. <laughs> He's a man. We're all crazy. No, he wants to build everything for the wedding. 35 tables, right? 35 tables. A dance floor for 250 people. Yep. And a bar, two of them. Yeah, two bars, eight feet wide for two bartenders. Let's start with tables. How about just tabling the idea? We've got this three-quarter inch birch, probably the best thing I've got right here. Smooth on both sides, hold screws, glue, strong. Ooh, that feels nice. It may be nice to touch, but is it nice for the budget? Can I ask, how much is the sheet? Oh. This is the three-quarter birch. It's about 65 bucks a sheet. $65 a table. But we don't have to go with that. Like, we can go with one that's not finished on both sides. And how much would that be? 38 bucks a sheet. You know bucks? you can rent tables for less, way, way less than that. So this groom's determined to save money, no matter how much the cost? But then you also have to put legs on this. They're about $20. You're gonna buy the metal folding legs? Yeah. You so you're right. looking at a table of still 60 to $80 per table. I know you can rent for under $20 a but tw table. But $20 that you'll never get anything back when you're done with it. Yes, but you also don't have to make them. You also don't have to store them. You also don't have to spend triple the cost of them. That's the whole point of the sweating. He wants to do it himself. Yeah, these guys are gonna help me out with it. Okay, you know what? I can see I'm not gonna win no matter what I say. So how about this? I just give you a deadline. 
you have to get everything done by seven days before the wedding. If not, I am going to call and rent everything. Sounds good, but I'll get it done. I'll Is that get a it deal? done two weeks before the wedding. I give you seven days. Uh, deal. I have been doing cakes for everybody's occasions and decided that, you know what, I'm making my own wedding cake. So I decided I'd do a little test run with my bridesmaids. Is it your first try? Um, is that, no. Because it doesn't kind of look like that. Yeah, yeah like I know. That. Well, this is kind of the trial thing, but this is the top layer and then the second layer. So there's going to be four layers. Yes. With That's flowers? Yeah, so we're going to pipe that all over it. Do you know what piping is? I know what a pipe dream is. Hey, what are you guys doing? We make the, we're just doing kind of a test thing for the cake. And I don't think this cake will be standing the test of time. Do you like it? Oh, it looks good. Yeah, it's just, you know, leaning a little bit, but... It, this is a test. By the time I actually make my real cake... No, it looks it's gonna, good. It's going to turn out... No, I like it. It looks good. It is good. really lopsided. I've just never done this high of a cake. I don't know if I can. I felt that maybe it was a little bit too much for me, seeing as I'm not a professional baker, but um, it's something that I just, I want to try, and I want to see if I can, I can do it, and uh, I'm going to go through with it. What if we put, like, some doweling and get some metal, I mean, not metal, That's sorry, right, wood? That's right, forgot, yes. Now there's a new flavor, wood and metal. Even if you have to make another cake after this one, it'll still work and be cheaper. I know, it was only 100 bucks. Yeah, and it'll be way nicer than the ones we can buy. Well, I don't know about that, but... At least it's cheaper. Timing up. What are you going to do with 750 forks? Ma, we you end know up what? You're saving. spending so it's... much money. My one aunt had a little, a little bit too much to drink. Open barrel, do it every time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, the next thing you know, she was doing a strip tease in the middle of the, of the floor. Off comes the slip. The, it goes swinging, goes off into the crowd, and uh, never to be found again. Um, when it comes to the budget for your wedding, some couples think they have it all sewn up. See? Oh, 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 it's getting stuck. Okay, stop. okay, stop. It's, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. And at the end of the show, we'll see if this couple spent what they planned or were left hanging by a thread. Even though I was totally against all the rental thing, Angelique insisted that we went by to go check it out, right? Just to see some options that... We didn't know we needed so many rentals. I know, like who would have thought that much <laughs> stuff you needed to rent, right? So guys, I'm bringing you in to take a look at some things that I think are gonna be very important to your wedding. I know you want to do a lot of stuff yourself, but just in case, I'd like to have some things on hold. I didn't think about all this stuff for an outdoor wedding, though. Like, well, obviously, you, you're gonna need stuff well, for you have them to, to think, eat off. What are people of? gonna eat off? Of? <laughs> okay, yeah, the dishes I could see. What are people gonna drink out of? Okay, fine, the glasses. What are people gonna eat with their hands? <laughs> well, do we have to rent those? Well, what would you consider doing? Well, I don't know. We you might look into something else. Or, I don't know, maybe look into buying them or something. I know you want to save money or make an investment, but to buy 250 pieces of china or silverware or anything, to me, is kind of a waste of money. We'll look into it. I think I feel another DIY project coming on. The biggest reason why we're here is a tent. Yes. We don't need a tent. We do need Come a on. tent. This looks expensive, no way. If it rains, what are you gonna do? But, but the thing is, I thought we were trying to do a whole outdoor wedding, make it feel like we're in Italy and... I'm pretty sure it rains in Italy too. You need shelter from the rain or you need shelter from hot and sun. Could we perhaps maybe set up the tent in the back or something, but we only pay for the rental if we end up using the tent? You need the tent to be set up the day before. Then you have to set up all of your items under the tent once the tent is set up. You can't put the tent over the place that you're setting up. Now, how much is this gonna cost us? Your guest number's at 250. We're thinking about 100 by 40 tent, which is gonna range you anywhere from 3,000 to 3,500 dollars. 3,500 bucks for a rental? Perhaps Diana has some material left over from her botched dress. I know it's a lot, but we need a tent. I have a feeling you're gonna come back to me and want some of these items I've put on hold. Okay. I have this feeling. Even though I knew that rentals was going to be part of this whole thing, yeah. I thought that, you know what, let's try and look into buying some tablecloths and cutlery, right? So me and Diana, my mom, we decided to go over to one of the stores and look at some prices, see what things went for. She did not like that. I know. What a mistake <laughs> that was, man. 
It's a little pricey here. I know we can find it a little bit less than this. I want you to rent them. Why do you want they us to rent them? Because she wants us to have a higher, but, like, higher yes. grade. But if you think about it, it doesn't, it's not worth it though, because if... Yes, it is. No, it's not. If you rent, it's two fifty a dozen. If we buy it, and if it's just plain, okay. I can end up finding it for about $2 a dozen. Yeah, but it's a plain cutlery, Mark. But do you think Come anybody's going to no notice the difference? Yes, they will. Yeah. Of course. Looks like Mom is stabbing her son in the back. They're just throwing away more. It looks more, you don't have anything it to keep looks more that. elegant. Ma, we you end up what? You're saving. You're spending so it's... much money. But that's the thing. And We're going to be spending end, a lot of money on these. And good. then we have to give them Come back. On. Let's see. What is the most expensive one on here? Uh, here, $70. Can you see a difference? There's no difference but a $50 price difference. The forks that you want to buy, they're not going to be the same quality as that. But if we buy it, we get to keep it. For how many people you're planning on buying? Well, we get, what, 250 And what are you buying? We're going to get a fork, a knife, yeah. and a spoon. And that's it? Another fork you or something? You do need at least another two forks on top of that. Two another forks? two forks? Yeah, so a total of three forks. That's like 750 forks. Well, that's just the way it is. I guess our groom thinks one fork can do triple duty. What are you going to do with 750 forks? But it's that 700... That is a lot of cutlery okay, that you have to put away. I guarantee you I will go find cutlery that you will like, right, at a fraction of the cost. I don't think you could do that. We are now the proud owners <laughs> of a whole bunch of cutlery <laughs> that we are never going to get through. When we first started to plan this wedding, we kept procrastinating, leaving things off, leaving things off. I had my stuff organized. I had my binder. It was the day before we left for our Aruba wedding, and I decided to check in on Mark just to see how his projects were coming along. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Good. You almost done? Almost. Almost? Are you planning to finish them on the plane? Um, well, what are we at? Four now. Okay. Four tables? Four tables. That's it? I know. That's pretty good. Don't you think? No. We have to get okay. ready for tomorrow. Don't worry, there's lots of time. It'll only take me about half an hour to pack up. It won't take long, no worries. Look, it only took us about an hour, 15, hour, 20 minutes per table. We're doing good. This per one's table. Done. I got this one finished. Yeah, it's not taking long. I think trees grow faster than that. We have tons of stuff we have to do before tomorrow. Like what? We haven't even packed yet, and we have to get all our papers in order and everything Listen, for the wedding. it's going to be one little backpack for me to pack. You know you're going to a wedding, right? You're not going to get this done in time. Look, we got one bar done, too. See the bar? Okay. No, this is nice. This is really nice, but where's the other one? We got one so far and four tables. I just want us to be ready. I don't want us to forget anything. Because we'll it's be not ready. like we're in the same country. Honestly, I this should have been done a long time ago. This is We're leaving. We're leaving tomorrow morning. And I just don't understand how this isn't done. Coming up. Oh, I can't believe you made this. Um, well, I didn't end up making it. So how much did it cost? 900 Are you serious? Yeah. My parents walked me down the aisle, uh, and I saw Mark in his, his mullet and his white tux and tails, and I knew that was the man for me right there. When it comes to your wedding reception, sometimes the great outdoors comes at a great expense. The most important rental you're going to need for your outdoor wedding, which is a tent. No. Yes. We don't need a tent. We do need Come a on. tent. Come on. This looks expensive. No way. And at the end of the show, we'll see if this couple got wet or if their budget just hit the roof. As soon as we got to that resort and we saw that it looked exactly like the pictures. Everything manicured, everything done, everything done. Perfect. It was hot. The sand was warm. <laughs> First things we wanted to do as soon as we got down there was meet with Angelique and our representative down on the resort, just to make sure we knew where we were going to get married. Look at the nice view from the balcony, though, eh? That is a nice view. I'm really, really impressed. I love the setup. I love this. I think it's beautiful, but I, I really want to have it on the beach. Okay, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Look at this. This is perfect. See, this is what we like this is on the beach. Exactly. We looked around, saw it, thought it was beautiful, and then there was a little surprise. 
By the law in Aruba, we have to marry first at the city hall. Mm. That ceremony takes around 25 minutes. Oh. Okay. After we come back to Rio and we start preparing the ceremony in the afternoon. No. Is that an additional cost? Yes. Yeah. For that, yes. Okay. The excess will be 495. Okay. 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 So, so it's an extra so it, so $500? Exactly. That, yeah, this is the law and you have, have, have to, to have do that. it. Yes. I thought this was all going to be all like one nice, easy package. <laughs> okay, seriously, this isn't a budget point to argue. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be legal. Okay, you know what? It's perfect. It's exactly right. what we wanted. That means, would you like to confirm the double ceremony? Yes, yes. we gotta do both. Okay, yes. perfect. Um, I really wanted to do something fun for our guests after the ceremony, and one of the things I had Angelique look into was a pirate ship cruise. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the pirate ship cruise. So guys, I know you really wanted the pirate ship, right? And this is Peter. Hi. Peter and I have been talking. <laughs> right now, the pirate ship, first of all, it's not even available for your wedding night. Really? Okay. Well, what was the experience you were looking for? What did you want out of I, this? I thought that it would be nice to have our ceremony, then all of our family get on the boat, go out, have a few drinks, have some snacks. We'll have some pictures done out on the boat. And it's just something nice, just some memories that we, we can hold on to. Peter, why don't you let them know what you have? Right, we have one boat which is the Midushi. It's okay. the same thing like a pirate ship but they are like also about $600 an hour. Okay. Then one which is you see the white catamaran. Yep. Okay. That's okay. in the range of about $450 per hour. Minimum for two hours you have open bars, snacks and everything including in that. I like and that. Is that available? Okay. That is available That's in that available. time. Okay. But guys realize regardless that it's $450 an hour it's over your budget because you have not allotted any of this to your budget. Now, you know what, though? Diana came up with the idea of going on this pirate ship right after our wedding, which I wasn't too keen on. But you know what? This nice catamaran boat, I think really it'll nice. be perfect. It'll be nice. Yeah. All right. right. But again, I'm just reminding you, it's over your budget. And I think it's something that we both really want. Well, don't let something as trivial as the budget get in the way. Yeah. Let's go. Let's yeah. do it. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to make my own dress. But um, I brought it to the seamstress and she was able to fix it, though it did cost me. So what'd you bring for me? This is my dress. <gasps> is it done? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited oh. to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't believe you made this. Um, well, I designed it, but I didn't end up making it. Um, I had to give the picture to a seamstress. But I thought you were going to make it yourself. I really wanted to make it myself. It would have taken way too long, and I'm not a professional. You've made that perfectly clear. You were right, my family was right. I should have just handed it over to her in the beginning. So how much did it cost? 900. <gasps> Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, that's a big change from I know. the original. I mean, you said it was going to cost you maybe 50 to 100 dollars. Yeah. And that's what I budgeted for. I mean, no. I didn't have a backup plan. You were so sure you guys could do it on your own. Does Mark know? Not yet. As long as you realize we'll yeah. be over at least. I know. But that being said, I am totally excited. Can I see it? Yes, you can. Oh. So this Look is it right at here. all the lace. Yeah. All $900 worth. I love it. I love the lace. It's so lacy, right? Yeah. But let's package it up. Yeah. I'm going to leave it here. Now, okay. I will hide it, and no one's going to see it. And when you get ready, boom, I'll bring it over. Perfect. We were enjoying ourselves on the beach, having a great time in Aruba, when Angelique decided that she wanted to talk about the budget. I do want to talk to you a little bit about your budget. And I figure it's better to do it here while you're relaxed and having a good time and all the beautifulness around you, right? True, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Once this all this is done, we still have another reception that's going to happen back home, right? Mm -hmm. So I really want to just make sure you understand where your numbers lie. You're starting to creep to a very uncomfortable spot for me. Kind of like getting sand in your bikini. Big thing that has come to my attention is the catering. I got the quote for the food and it was $18,000 and for 300 people. I thought we were, our numbers were lower. I thought the numbers were around 250. I mean, I know. For me, it's a ripple effect because it's not just the food. The linens have gone up, the cutlery and the plates and the glasses, all of that stuff is all gone up. We already no. got the cutlery. We, we, bought, we bought everything bought already. Cutlery. Why did you buy it? Just figured it's the same price. So really, your budget that I've worked with is really non-existent. Right now, the dress. Yeah. You know, you've gone over budget. I know. I wish the I dress. hadn't. Yeah. Yes. I gotta tell Mark now. 
Well, what happened was I bought the fabric, I started it, and yeah. I just couldn't finish. There was no way. So how much was it? Like what? Nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred bucks? Yeah, nine hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars over what I thought it was gonna be. I know you guys are planning a lot of DIY, and that's got me concerned. I mean, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of planning. My next thing is cake. Are you still planning on making it? We're definitely making the cake. Yeah. Okay. Right, it's gonna be the day before. I'm, yeah, but I'm just worried that something's gonna happen, and then what do we do? It's not like we can just order a ready-made wedding cake. I hope the cake doesn't end up like the dress. You have, though, enormous number amount of projects you have on your plate. Well, I was thinking about the tables, right? I started making some of them. Okay. It's gonna look amazing. Yeah, it's gonna I'm look gonna good. be making it. It's gonna look All good. Right. What about the dance floor, though? The dance floor is still gonna be happening. Yeah. All right, I'll leave that with you. Is there anywhere else we can cut? So the only thing that's on the top of my head that I really think you could cut would be the Sunset Cruise. Well, no. That's $900. It's and something different. You're getting married this. on the beach. Okay. So we want to kind of have a time where we go off with our family and just, okay. just us. You're creating memories. <laughs> They're going to last. Not as long as the payments are going to last. Coming up. You know what? I forgot the rings inside. the. Uh, they're in the safe. I thought Diana grabbed them. The very worst part about a wedding is when they line up all the single women and you got to pretend like you're desperate to get married and you're yeah, diving for the bouquet. Agreed. I can remember hiding in a bathroom at other people's weddings so that I didn't have to be a part of it and people saying, where's Nancy waiting for me to come? When it comes to the final tally for your wedding, be prepared for some unexpected multiplication. I got the quote for the catering and the catering came out to $18,000 and for 300 people. I thought the numbers were around 250. I know. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this couple kept the surprises to a minimum or if they just got a shocking total tally. On the wedding day in Aruba, I just remember being really relaxed. We went and had our ceremony up at City Hall. We were definitely not expecting the City Hall to be how it was at all. Not a chance. It was so beautiful and so intimate. That I, register of marriage in Aruba, pronounce that your husband and wife together, Mr. Mark, to make his wife. <laughs> To have it the way it was, I thought it was really beautiful. And to have that time with my brother and with his sister was was really nice. Woo! <laughs> After the ceremony up at City Hall. Me and the guys, I went by the beach, lying on the lawn chairs, relaxing. OK, how are you feeling? Everything OK? Oh, yeah, no, it's starting to look up good. I had my hair done. That's flower girl. And after my mom came in my room, I couldn't believe how emotional my wedding day would become. <sighs> Don't cry, because <laughs> you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Many years ago, <laughs> my, my mother gave me something <laughs> that I cherish. And I want to pass it on to you. <laughs> and it's her wedding. I mean, it's an engagement ring. And I would like you to have it on your wedding day. <laughs> you <Yeah>. okay? <laughs> oh, you. I love you. Well, anyway, let's be happy now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mama. Ma, picture. The chairs were dressed. Now, how about our bride? To Diana and Mark, wishing you guys a life full of health and happiness. And hopefully not debt. <laughs> Everyone in your places. Oh my gosh, the ring. I swear to God. The ring. Does Diana have the ring? No, she said you guys have it. Oh my God, it's in the safe in the room. You know what? I forgot the rings inside the. Uh, they're in the safe. I thought Diana grabbed them. Well, that's just a minor detail. I remember walking down that aisle, and it was a long aisle, and um, I don't even remember anybody else being there. I saw Mark, and that was it. <laughs> we are here not only to witness your commitment to each other, but also to wish the both of you every happiness in your future life together. Diana, will you live with him in the state of true holy match as long as you both shall live? I do. I, Mark, take you, Diana, to be my wife. I promise to cherish our friendship. I love you today, tomorrow, and... I love you today, tomorrow, and all the rest of our life. 
Diana, with this ring, I do love you. I now pronounce the both of you to be husband and wife. Please seal this union. Mark, make me proud. <laughs> Long kiss. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Vitali. Everybody say catamaran, because that's where we're going. It was time to take this party to the high seas. hit the water, Angelique was putting together the finishing touches. Well, I'm going to finish putting the petals down and some of the nice yellow flowers that she likes. Now that we're almost done here in Aruba, I have to go back home and make sure that we're ready for that 300-person reception. We still have to finalize menus, make sure favors are ordered. We still have to get all the rentals. I have to make sure Mark gets all his work done. There's still a lot to do. The boat is docked. The guests have arrived. And now all we need is the happy couple. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring you around and I'm going to formally introduce you guys into the party. Okay. All righty, let's, let's get this started. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, one Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you your bride and groom, Diana and Mark Vitale. <laughs> Budget is nowhere on our mind at all. No I don't way. Think, no, I, at that's all. That's the last thing we're thinking. Budget? Come on. Yeah. Who no. thinks of a budget on a vacation? <laughs> like, we just spend, 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 yeah. and have a great time, and that's it. Like, this is just awesome. Coming up. I just really yeah, don't you feel just need to stand there and look pretty. I know, but I just really don't feel good. I'm gonna do it just right keep now. breathing, hon, okay? Keep breathing. Our wedding day was flawless. Everything was went without a hitch, and sadly, we didn't have any drunken ants and people going crazy. It was perfect. It was perfect. It was yeah. a perfect day. When it comes to your wedding day, remember to save some tears for when you face the wedding bills. My mother gave me something, and I want to pass it on to you. And I would like you to have it on your wedding day. You mom, okay? And soon we'll reveal if this couple stayed under budget or kissed their savings goodbye. The day before the wedding, I had quite a bit of stuff to do. I'm very grateful that Angelique actually came through and got us in there the day before because you know what? We had a ton of things to do in one day. Wow, is this the dance floor you made? Yes. Yep. This is the best dance floor I've ever seen. And it may be the most expensive one, too. And the bars. The bars, yes. I love them. They're huge. I noticed the rentals are here, though. So yeah, we've correct. got our chairs, we've got our tables. Yeah, so I rounded away. every edge. <laughs> perfect. You guys have really come through. You proved me wrong. The tables are done, bars are done, everything. The floor's in, tents up, right? We're good. I've still got running around to do. I'll let you guys finish up here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. OK. All right. All righty. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thank you. See you later. Bye now. There's so much to do still. I'm, I'm not freaking out, but I got to get home. I have to continue making the cake. It's this huge three tier, which takes up two tiers on each tier. Honey, you're supposed to be in bed. It's almost 11 o'clock. What else do you have to do? Is this your list? Yeah. Oh, my god, honey. I know. You got about five or six things to do here still. I know, that's what I'm saying. I, do, I just haven't had any time. Diana, you know you've taken on too much. I know, Mom. OK, this is too late. I'm already not feeling good, I know. I am so tired and just I'm not feeling good. And I, I am excited for tomorrow, but I just wish I had a lot more time to get everything done. OK, is there anything that I can do for you? Well. I need the other cake done, but not until that one's out, so. All right, let me start with this. That's the thing, I have so much to do tomorrow morning. And one of them is getting married. I don't need to do this. Just but finish this, and I'll then I will, I will take care of the rest of the stuff in the morning. I just want you to get your sleep. The morning of the wedding didn't exactly start with me waking up, because I hadn't actually slept at all. <laughs> I hadn't slept. I hadn't eaten. Just breathe in. Okay. You breathe. Take your short breaths, remember? Maybe they can move the reception into the bedroom. Not to rush you, but we yeah. should probably start putting the dress on. I mean, I'm getting better, but I can't keep anything down at all. 
Lucky the I do's were said in Aruba. I just want to yeah, feel you just need to stand there and look pretty. I know, I just want to feel good. And she hasn't even seen the total cost of the wedding yet. I'm tired. I'm waiting for sleep. You have just made it like for every everything. Exact time start to finish. And let's drink to that. Oh, cheers. We're so happy to have Angelique as a, as our wedding planner, right? She's on board for both, right? The Aruba wedding and back here at the reception, right? And she helped out quite a bit. All oh, right, wow. my friend. What do you think? This actually all came together nicely. It did. See, we got the tooling up. There's still the meat and cheese to come they out. They did a nice job with it, eh? They, it's gorgeous. It's very Roman looking. It's fit for royalty and costs a king's ransom. And the bar? Like, it looks, looks so good. It does. It Are you excited? Nice. Oh, yes. He'd probably be more excited if his bride wasn't too ill to stand. I think Diana's going to be very, very happy. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. It looks good. She'll be proud. And speaking of being proud, here comes the cake. Like, look at the size of this. This is, like, huge. She did beautiful. Is that Poor nice? Poor thing. No wonder she's exhausted. She's worked her little heart out. Look at that. No one said saving money was easy. Hey, you're good to go. You're beautiful. You look okay? You look gorgeous. You look Ready gorgeous. You make your grand entrance? Here's the beautiful bride. It's nice to see her up and about. My mom had bought this dress just in case I didn't make my other one in time. So this was the dress. Yeah. Well, actually, this was the dress. But um, I want to make it look like the one for Aruba. So I just. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> Dinner time! That will be music to the guests' ears. A scooter brought the couple to the reception, and they ate and danced the night away. It was awesome tonight. It was the best. Everybody keeps commenting on it and what. Everything. Everything. It was just so great. Like, they I'm so it. happy all our projects the cake, came together. The, bar, the, t the tables. It, it was a lot of hard bar. work. Everyone's still partying. It I'm was... still standing. It's great. You may still be standing, but you may not be when you see the bill. The original budget we handed Angelique was $32,000. I ended up trying to make the cake myself. Took me a few tries. But in the end, I got it done. It looked great. I think so, and it was $250. I know Diana had her heart set in making her own dress. In the end, she ended up going to a seamstress, getting it professionally made, and it cost us a total of $900, but she looked beautiful. I wish we were able to make everything on our own, but our DIY decor ended up costing us $4,735. Aruba was amazing. Everybody had a blast. Total cost for the wedding, including flight, food, Catamaran ride, everything came to a total of $9,465. It was great to have Angelique there for both of our wedding dates. Her total fee was $4,500. The venue cost us a total of $700, but after including food, alcohol, decor, rentals, it came to a total of $20,817. All miscellaneous costs, including guest favors, the DJ, and the photographer that I really wanted, was $6,135. What we actually spent on the wedding was $46,802, putting us over budget by $14,802. And that's with DIY. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be cheaper. It's pretty nice. <laughs> it was good, though. Like, you know, now we own all the stuff. But we're exhausted. <laughs> hey, you know what? Everybody had a great time, right? So, and we got yeah, all, keep once, all the stuff. Yeah, once so I regain good. consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The sun set in Aruba. The DIY projects were accomplished. And dinner was served Tuscan style. The only question left is... How did the cake taste? <laughs> Marriage has been the most wonderful, pleasurable experience of my life and also the most painful experience of my life. My vows I had asked Elaine to, to purposely put into them. I promised to honor, not obey, no. and never interfere with my sports. And she actually said it. 